Okay, guys, so now we talk about the third requirement. So what does it say? It's a very short one. At information sets that are on the equilibrium path, beliefs must be determined by the Bayes rule and the player's equilibrium strategies. All right, well, it's short, uh, but it actually requires a lot, maybe. So the requirement three, first of all, is about information sets uh, that are on the equilibrium path, all right? And what the beliefs should be or can be at those information sets, all right? The requirement three says your beliefs in information sets cannot be random especially if they are on the equilibrium path uh, for some strategy profile. Um, well, okay, they, sh they can't be random, uh, but how are they going to be determined? Well, they should be consistent uh, with the player's uh, strategies, previous player's strategies, according to a Bayes rule. Well, if you do not remember what Bayes rule is, please go back to the math review videos. Uh, and, and clarify the concept of Bayes rule. However, I am going to sort of give some examples uh, and, and apply the Bayes rule and, and show you how uh, you, can, you can apply the Bayes rule in this uh, context. All right, well, because this requirement is talking about information sets that are on the equilibrium path, um, so we can talk about this specific example because According to this uh, strategy profile, information set is on the equilibrium path, and this one and this one. Example two, I mean, if player one is playing R, we know that the second player's information set is going to be off the equilibrium path, and so requirement three puts no restriction on the value of mu. All right, so let's consider example one, all right? Well, it says, well, let me start with uh, example three, uh, because I think it's uh, easier. So example three is a strategy profile LD mu, all right? Well, <clears throat> here um, we wonder what the value of mu can be if this is kind of, if this is an equilibrium strategy profile. For example, can this be an equilibrium strategy profile? LD and the belief system mu is equal to zero. Can this be equilibrium? Uh, well, we, we have to check that, you know, D is the best response to mu equals zero. Uh, well, in this example, it is not, so it fails to satisfy requirements two, we know, but let's ignore requirements two for now. All right, let's look at requirement three. Is this mu uh, satisfy the requirement three? Well, what does this tell us? Well, it says, this strategy profile says, player one is going to play left, and player two is going to believe that player one has actually played M, because mu is equal to zero means uh, player two is going to believe that this is the decision note he's at. So, Requirement three says this can't be the case. Why? Well, according to the Bayes rule, Bayes rule, uh, what should be the value of mu? Well, the mu, remember, what is the likelihood of ending up at this decision note? What is the probability of ending up at this decision note? Given that, probability of reaching to this information set, all right? Uh, well, probability of ending up at this decision note uh, with respect to what? Well, with respect to the strategy uh, profile, obviously. Well, according to this strategy profile, the likelihood that player two, uh, I'm sorry, uh, player one is gonna end up at this decision note is one because he's gonna play left, all right? Good. What is the probability that he's gonna end up at this information set according to this strategy profile? Well, it's one, right? Because player one is not gonna play right. Hmm, so therefore one over one equals one. That means, according to Bayes' rule, player should be holding mu equals one. So this strategy profile basically therefore fails to satisfy um, 
requirement theory. Let me call it R theory. All right. Uh, well, what is the intuition behind it? Well, once again, the intuition is the following. Uh, given the player's strategies in a strategy profile, the player's beliefs in these information set shouldn't be random, especially if those information sets are on the equilibrium path. Well, they should be consistent with the previous player's moves. Right. Yes, I know that player two cannot observe player one's move, right? I mean, you cannot say whether player one is playing left or M or right. But the thing is, once you reach to this information set, you will be holding some belief. And remember, uh, one interpretation of the strategy profile, well, these are not what actually, I mean, we can interpret the strategy profile as players' beliefs. What does that mean? That means when I look at this strategy profile, you can read it as if player one believes that player two is going to play D. And player two believes that player one is going to play left. So if I interpret this as a belief of player two, right? So player two believes that player one is going to play left. Well, remember, this is also belief. She's holding this belief about which decision note she's at. Well, obviously, I want them to be consistent with each other. I mean, you cannot believe your opponent is going to play left, but at the same time believe that you will be end up at this decision note. I mean, these two beliefs are inconsistent, all right? So therefore, those inconsistent beliefs shouldn't be a part of an equilibrium, all right? So that's why we basically in, incorporate this idea of Bayes rule and, and requirement theory into or a part of an equilibrium. All right, so the beliefs must be consistent. Okay, so good. If this is the equilibrium strategy profile, well, again, it fails to hold uh, requirement two, but mu has to be equal to one. All right, otherwise it's gonna fail requirement three as well. Now, let's look at example one, all right? Example one. So here, uh, according to this strategy profile, player one is gonna play left with half probability, right with half probability, player two plays U, and then mu. Well, what mu is gonna be, so again, this strategy profile means player two believes that his opponent is going to play left with half probability, R with one half probability, and he believes that he's going to be here in this decision node with mu probability, and in this decision node with one minus mu probability. Question is, what, for what values of mu uh, that this belief and mu are consistent? For example, can we have this strategy and mu equals zero again? I believe my opponent is going to play left or right with equal probabilities, but I believe that I'm at this decision note. Well, again, it doesn't sound consistent, right? I mean, here, there's only one way you can end up at this information set, which is if player one actually plays left. So therefore, if you are in this decision node, well, then it's not because player one played M. It should be because player one played L. So mu has to be one, right? Okay, so let's formally find this. So mu has to be, well, once again, what is the probability of getting to this decision node? All right, well, call this P1, all right? And call this P2, call this P3. Uh, I'm giving you sort of a generic formula for this specific game. Well, it's going to be P1 divided by P1 plus P2, right? Because P1 is the probability that you will actually end up at this decision note divided by, well, you end up at this info set, which is P1 plus P2. Well, here, the probability that player one is going to play left I mean, P1 is one half, uh, P1 is one half. What is P2? Well, probability that my opponent player one, I mean, is gonna play M is zero. So therefore one half divided by one half, just one. Okay, so therefore this strategy profile satisfies requirement three if and only if mu is equal to one, clear? 
Very good. Well, by the way, very symmetrically, uh, in example 4, uh, 3 over 4m, 1 over 4r means mu has to be 0, right? Uh, let me very quickly do that, and then I'll give you one more example. So this is example 4, 3 over 4m, 1 over 4r, uh, d mu. Well, here, mu is equal to p1 divided by p1 plus p2. Once again, what is p1? The probability that my opponent is playing left, well, it's 0, divided by p1 plus p2, 0 plus, what is p2? 3 over 4, so it's 0, well, it's just 0. All right, so mu is 0, so therefore you should believe that you are actually in this decision node. All right, this is the consistent belief. And let me give you one final example. Uh, here's the one. So 1 over 4L, 3 over 4, uh, well, yeah, let's do it this way. 1 over 4M, and then 1 over 2, uh, well, yeah, I'm sorry for this. 1 over 3L, 1 over 3M, 1 over 3 right, and then something and mu. All right, so player one basically randomizes with equal probabilities. If this is the case, well, what is the consistent mu that will satisfy requirement three? Well, mu has to be, once again, p1 divided by p1 plus p2, which is 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. So basically, it's equal to 1 over 2. Which makes sense, right? I mean, if you believe that your opponent is going to play left M and R with equal probabilities, well then, if you are actually in this information set, well, what is the likelihood that you are actually in this decision node? Well, I mean, he's going to play left or right M with equal probabilities. So therefore, because there are two decision nodes, well, the likelihood of being in this decision node and the likelihood of this decision node should be the same as well, all right? Um, so therefore, uh, this strategy profile satisfies uh, requirement three if and only if mu is equal to one half, all right? Well, what about this guy, example two? What if this is the equilibrium? Uh, does it satisfy requirement three? Well, requirement three, remember, doesn't say anything about uh, the cases where uh, the information set is off the equilibrium path. And here, because player one is playing right, information set is off the equilibrium path. So that means mu can be anything, 